Welcome back guys. Today we had some more misadventures in bench. Starting off with four reps for a two count bench. Shooting for that nine RPE. And uh, going into today, my sciatic nerve was giving me some issues. So holding my arch was um, not fun. It was very tight and I uh, had a little bit of pain on my left side. So it didn't make the uh, movement any easier. Um, two count pause benches are already the, one of the hardest exercises for me. It's, I mean, you take a movement that I'm not good at to begin with, and then you add a longer pause, which makes it more difficult, and uh, you get a real pain in the ass. So as you can see here, I hit nine with 255 for four, which I was actually kind of surprised about, even though, you know, I've I've done, I've had bad days here and there, but I, I just really thought that I was going to be at least, you know, go in the 265, 275 range. So uh, I was disappointed with that, so I decided to drop to 235 to get my load drops in here and make sure I didn't grind anymore. I ground a little bit too much on that 255, but like I said, it caught me by surprise. Um, I couldn't really get comfortable with my setup at this point. I had the Rogue Dew Winds on, their uh, weightlifting shoes, and I had my feet tucked uh, underneath my knees a lot, which keeps me tight and keeps me in a good arch, but um, aggravates my back a little bit, as it seems. But uh, there we go again, that's the second load drop set. So I was done there, hit nine. Now it's on to the half board press, which is basically pressed to a, uh, a five pound plate I have banded to my stomach. And I was doing touch and go reps here just to get some, because I never do touch and go stuff, but I feel like there's a, a place for that, especially with this exercise. Um, I hit nine pretty early on this one too, 245 for four, uh, touch and go to obviously not even a full range of motion. Shouldn't be that difficult, but it was. Um, so I dropped to 230. And uh, something funny happens coming up, you'll, you'll notice. I decided uh, after a couple load drop sets to really change my stance um, and change my shoes. I decided, I had seen somebody bench with their toes basically pronated completely out uh, uh, or externally rotated, I should say, and um, with their knees very wide. So I figure I squat like that, I... You know, I deadlift like that. Why not try benching? And you'll notice almost immediately the rep speed, uh, my tightness, it all improves. And it's the first time I've ever gone down uh, in a sequence of sets on an exercise in RPE. So I actually had to go back up and put 245 on there and do that for two sets to get back to my desired RPE. And this is what you're seeing in the very last set. And even this is really um, smooth for me. Uh, I really like the new stance feels good so i don't know if it's an epiphany just yet i'm not going to go you know claim that i'm going to set records at this point but we'll see finished off with some military press uh with an axle one of my strongman buddies left at the gym so i figured hey why not it's fun i was already fatigued so i only worked up to 120 for eight here and then it's a back offsets